Hello, Nathan here from the photography team. Um, in this little series of videos, we just want to share with you some quick tips and tricks uh, with using um, Capture One. Please don't forget that we do have a discount code, which is TPT. Um, TPT, I'll put that on the screen here now for you. That is a discount code with Capture One that will give you discount from new purchases and also upgrades. So what we want to, what I want to talk about today is the power of Capture One and using the clone and heel brush. Now, um, as you know, with Capture One, we do have a spot healing brush that allows us to remove um, basic spots from faces and um, and also skin, uh, skin, sky, that sort of thing. So, but unfortunately, with that, if we have large objects to remove with using the spot brush yes we can achieve something but it's never going to be nice and neat and as you'll see from that it's just uh, it's not really um, it's not really neat and it hasn't really removed the images that I wanted to remove so let's delete all those spot healing brushes and let me show you the power of capture one so first off let's make sure we have a draw mask and then in the layers tab you can either click new layer here or if you'll see on the top left we've got a plus here so if we click layer layer we've got a new layer layer one and it's, this one is an adjustment layer but if we right click on that we can use heal and clone so for this one let's just use a clone and you'll see the uh, brush has now appeared on the screen. Obviously, right click, we can change the brush size. We can change hardness, opacity, and flow. Um, and we can have auto mask. But for this, I'm just going to have a small brush and I'm going to draw over the bottles. Now, when you let go of the mouse, you'll see that um, Capture One has tried to find a similar area, but it hasn't really found a similar area. So if we grab hold of this pointer we can move this down here and we can then move this around until we find a suitable place let go and you'll see that that's um, cloned out those bottles we can click here on these leaves and we can click here on that leaf now as you're working with layers um, if I was to move this pointer you'll see that all three um, all three masks are moving so you can see where the leaves were that's moving and you can see where um, the bottles are moving so let's find a place now if this wasn't working for you so if we um, if it wasn't working for you you then what you do is you just do it you would create a new layer so what I'm going to do is create a new layer now and we'll show you how to get rid of this um, goalpost so let's use here new layer Again, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one as a heel layer rather than clone. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get rid of this goalpost here. So using the brush again, we'll brush in what we want to remove. Um, capture one is again tried to find a similar point, but it's not really worked. So let's bring that up. And we will move this. To a point don't worry if you bring in in extra objects like the hand there because as we what we can do is we can then do a new layer again heel layer and we can paint over the hand and we can get rid of that And then we will do another layer, heal, and we'll get rid of these objects here. So just dragging that point until we see that what we're trying to get rid of is gone. Now obviously um, you could be a bit more precise than this, but I'm just showing you this for 
this video purposes. There we go. So that has removed that gold post and it's removed the bottles. So let's go back to um, the edit panel and let's give this a quick edit. So we'll use the straighten tool and we'll straighten the horizon. It's great. Then we will, with this one, I will first off, again with the layers, make sure you're adjusting the background layer. If not, the uh, the edits will only appear on that mask that we just drew. So, background layer, and then we will use the um, Kelvin here. We'll just warm up a little touch. Let's bring in. Let's bring the hollows down in the sky. Let's bring the shadows up a little bit. And let's add some brightness there. So that is the power of Capture One. That's shown you how to use the clone and heal brushes. Very powerful. Um, and with Capture One, obviously, because you can work on layers, um, you know, you can work on multiple layers, remove certain objects on different layers. You can change color on layers so much more that you can do with um, Capture One than in Lightroom. So if we just reset this image, you'll see where we started. So we started with an image with some rubbish on the lawn, a goal post, and this is where we ended up using the clone and heel brushes. Um, please, if you have any comments, fire away down below. We'll do our best to, um, to answer those for you. Again, if there's anything that you would like to know um, using Capture One, again, ask the question, and if it's something that we can help you with, we will help you. We're new to Capture One. This is a feature that we've only just recently um, discovered. Um, we were trying to correct things with the spot brush, which just wasn't working. Um, so I hope this has helped you. Um, if you need to remove certain objects and things from images within Capture One, like I say, uh, we do have a discount code, which is TPT, which will give you discount from uh, new purchases of Capture One and also upgrades. So thank you for watching. My name's Nathan, and you've been watching The Photography Team.